Welcome to the lesson, what is science? Did you know that not all science takes place in a laboratory? Lab experiments are just one of many different ways scientists conduct investigations. In this lesson, we'll take a look at different types of scientific investigations. We'll also learn about the steps involved in conducting an investigation. The vocabulary words for this lesson are science, investigation, evidence, and opinion. Click each word to find out more about it. When scientists conduct investigations, how do they know what to do? No matter what they are studying, scientists follow certain steps in their investigation. We call this series of steps the scientific process, and it always begins with a question. Science is the study of the natural world by making observations and performing investigations. Investigations allow scientists to gather evidence or documentation about the natural world. They use this scientific evidence to try to explain how and why things happen. Click the pictures to learn about ways that scientists conduct investigations. Scientists can conduct controlled experiments in laboratories. Sometimes scientists use technology to help them make observations. This scientist is using a telescope to make observations about the universe. Field scientists often investigate organisms in their natural surroundings. An investigation could include digging for fossil evidence to shed light on the past. Scientists use physical models to study things that are very large, very complicated, or very small, such as organic molecules. Scientists use computer models to study complicated processes, like weather. Let's examine one famous laboratory investigation. Years ago, most people thought that organisms were spontaneously generated, that they just appeared. Louis Pasteur decided to test this opinion to see if it was a scientific fact. He performed a careful experiment with sterilized meat broth to see if organisms spontaneously appeared. Click the pictures to learn about Pasteur's experiment. Pasteur first filled a long-necked flask with meat broth. Then, he heated the flask's glass neck and bent it into an S shape. Air could still reach the broth, but liquid in the S-shaped neck trapped airborne microorganisms. Pasteur then boiled the broth to sterilize it. After a time, Pasteur tested the broth and found that no microorganisms had formed in it. When he tipped the flask so that the broth reached the microorganisms trapped in the flask's neck, the liquid quickly became cloudy with microscopic life. Because nothing grew in the sterilized broth, Pasteur's experiment disproved the opinion that microorganisms spontaneously generate. At the same time, it also proved that microorganisms are found in the air. We know that scientists collect information, or data, during an investigation. But what do they do with it? 
Scientists analyze data to draw conclusions or provide explanations about the thing or process they're investigating. They must have evidence to support their conclusions and explanations, or else these conclusions are not considered scientifically accurate. Click the images to see how Pasteur used observations and evidence to draw conclusions in his microorganism investigation. Pasteur designed an experiment that allowed him to observe how meat broth reacted with air that did not contain microorganisms. Pasteur sterilized the meat broth so he could observe what happened to the broth when microorganisms were not present. Pasteur observed that no microorganisms formed in the broth. The cloudy, contaminated broth provided evidence that allowed Pasteur to conclude that microorganisms are present in the air. Do you think a conclusion should be considered fact if it's been proven only once? If your answer is no, you are right. The original scientist or other scientists should always repeat an investigation to make sure the results can be repeated. Scientists must also communicate their results so that other scientists can check their work and help make sure their conclusions are valid. Click Revise Conclusions or Validate Conclusions to see two examples of ways that repeated investigations and input from other scientists can cause conclusions to be validated or revised. When an investigation is repeated with the same results, the conclusion is supported. The conclusion has been validated because repeated investigations reach the same conclusion. Sometimes, repeating an investigation reveals a flaw in the conclusion. When this happens, a scientist revises or changes the conclusion. The revised conclusion is then discussed and debated. This new conclusion may be validated if the evidence is trustworthy. Imagine that you conduct an experiment to see how plants grow best. You put one bean plant in a shady area and one in a sunny area. The plant you grew in the sunny area grows taller than the plant in the shady area. What do you need to do to reach a valid conclusion about this experiment? Click the correct answer. That's it! Investigations must be repeated to make sure the conclusions are valid. If you grow additional plants in sunny and shady areas, you will see if your conclusion is valid or if it needs to be revised. Should Pasteur's investigation be repeated to verify his results and conclusions? Click true or that's not right. All investigations must be repeated to verify the results. If an investigation is performed only once, there may be other factors besides the one being tested that influence the results, and therefore the conclusion may not be valid. Imagine you want to investigate when the most traffic passes in front of your school. Describe how you might conduct such an investigation. Write your answer in the box and then click OK. You might consider counting the total number of cars that pass the school in 15 minutes and then repeat the same measurement a number of times during the day. You've learned a lot about scientific investigations. Before we finish, 
Let's take a quick look at the main points you covered. Scientific investigations involve asking questions, gathering data, repeating observations, and drawing conclusions. A good investigation reaches the same conclusions when it's repeated. Communication, discussion, and debate all help scientists reach valid conclusions. Now that you've finished this lesson, if you wish, you can go back and review any part of the lesson again.